The new Season 4 update introduced some balance changes, but after seeing the patch notes, it turned out that the buffs and nerfs weren't that significant enough that would affect our previous Top 15 Weapons video. To keep everything short, the new update didn't shake up the meta for this season, but there are weapons on our list that received some tweaks that you might want to look out for. At the last spot again, we have the XPR, the SKS, and the AS Valve with the FMJ Mag. The XPR is a semi-auto sniper that can one-shot in the chest and arms up to 32 meters. You can achieve a one-tap kill at any range if you hit the head and the chest thanks to the stopping power mag, and above 32 meters will always be a two-shot kill if hit anywhere other than the mentioned body part. The SKS can two-shot an enemy as long as you hit the upper body, and one-tap an enemy if you hit the head at all ranges. ASVAL FMJ can do the same thing but up to 43 meters of range only. The SKS and ASVAL FMJ are like twin brothers and they shine in their own way. Use the SKS for more consistent kills at range but you'll struggle at close range due to its mobility on the slower side. Use the ASVAL if you want more mobility but it won't be as consistent as the SKS when it comes to longer range fights. At number 14, we have the Grau and the PP-19 Bison. The Grau received a slight ADS movement speed nerf in the new update, but it's really a small nerf that you actually won't feel any difference at all. Again, there's nothing much to say about these two. Recoil is pretty easy to control, both have large mag size, good mobility, and fast time to kill. What more can you ask for? At number 13, we have the M13. It has one of the fastest fire rates in the assault rifle category, has usable iron sights, low recoil, and a huge mag size. The reason why it's not high up on the list is because of its slow damage, bullet velocity, and there's a lot of good ARs to choose from in the current meta. But don't get me wrong, it's definitely a very solid and fun weapon to use, especially for beginners because of its ease of use. Missing shots with the M13 can be less punishing thanks to its very fast fire rate and large mag size, but like I said earlier, there's just way better options out there. At top 12, we got the AK-117, Type 19, and the Peacekeeper. To summarize these three, they're like the better Grau but with their own strengths and weaknesses. The AK-117, Type 19, and the Peacekeeper all have better range than the Grau, but there's a small problem. The AK-117 and the Peacekeeper have a weird recoil, and players might find it difficult to use. What about the Type 19? Well, this might actually be better than those two. Thanks to the BSA buff that it received, you don't have to use the laser anymore and use that extra slot for a red dot or a barrel for extra range, so I'd personally choose this over the AK-117 and the PC for this season. At number 11, we have the M16, the KN44, and the UL736. Again, with a wildfire perk, the M16 can get a 4-shot kill up to 50 meters, but can be hard to use because of its limited attachments and horrible iron sights. If you had a good epic or legendary blueprint, the better. The KN44 can 4-shot up to 58 meters and achieve a 3-shot kill up to 38 meters if you land a headshot. And the UL736 can 4-shot kill up to 59 meters and 3-shot up to 42 meters if you can hit the arms and the chest. Since these three weapons have a slow mobility, you will find yourself winning more gunfights if you keep your distance. At the number 10 spot, we have these LMGs again. Ogre 26, Bruin MK9, and the Hades. All of them almost have the same time to kill. If you want to hold angles with a huge mag size of 100 rounds and a red dot, use the Holger 26. For better overall mobility while maintaining the same damage output as the Holger 26, use the Hades. If you want a low recoil LMG with an AR-like mobility, use the Bruin MK9. All of these are great LMGs in their own way, so take your time to choose which one you prefer. Next up, we got the Kilo 141 and the Krig 6. Both are 4-shot kill ARs with a 3-shot potential if you can meet these conditions. Like I said in the previous top 15 weapons video, they're very close in terms of stats so try both to see which one you prefer. If you have the Mythic Krig, it's definitely better than the Kilo. If you don't, then they're equal if you're okay with the Krig Aim Shake. At number 8, we have the Man of War. This weapon received a nerf in the new update on its Thermite rounds, but since we never used or will never use the Thermite rounds on the Man of War, this nerf isn't really that big of a deal. Overall, it's a pretty solid 3-shot assault rifle, but you have to play in a slower pace because of its slow mobility. At number 7, we got the DRH and the AK-47, two solid 3-shot assault rifles that you might want to give a shot. They're both iconic weapons that are really fun to use while being reliable in the current meta. 
At the number 6 spot, we have the EM2. This is currently the best 3-shot weapon in my opinion. Good range, good max size for its ferrite, and decent mobility. For more details about the Metal War, DRH, AK-47, and the EM2, go check out our 3-tap comparison video. At number 5, we have the CX-9 and the Fennec. They are the best SMGs to use for close-range fights, but what sets them apart are their ease of use. The CX-9 has a fast ferrite and low recoil which makes it a lot easier to use for players. While the Fennec is more loved by the players, especially the OG ones out there, you shouldn't sleep on the CX-9 because of its big mag size, easy to control recoil, and fast mobility. Both of these are two great weapons as long as you use them in tight spaces and small maps since that's where they perform the best. For number 4 spot, we have the OTS-9 and the QXR with Enhanced Bolt. The OTS-9 can achieve a 4-shot kill up to 22 meters if you can consistently hit the upper body, while the QXR with Enhanced Bolt can 5-shot kill an enemy up to 13 meters which is pretty insane for its 1000 RPM. Try to manage your ammo well with both of these weapons, especially with the QXR EB, since it burns ammo fast. You should also take note that the OTS-9 and the QXR have below average reload speed for SMGs, so try to cancel your reload animation whenever you can. At number 3, we have the QQ9 with 10mm rounds. The reason why we didn't include the default QQ9 is because OTS9 basically performs better. But with the 10mm rounds, it's a whole different story. It has 24 meters of 4 shot kill with 237 milliseconds of time to kill, which is pretty fast for an SMG in that range, and it can 3 tap an enemy if you can land a shot in the chest or head which can obviously lower the time to kill more. However, you might have a hard time using this gun at respawns, and you will find yourself reloading every second due to its small mag size. You can swap out any attachments you want for sleight of hand perk if you want, or just use this fast killing SMG in search and destroy instead. At number 2, we have the most flexible guns in the game, the FFAR, PDW, and the QXR. We took our time explaining these three weapons in the last top 15 video, so let's keep it short. The reason why the QXR with Enhanced Bolt is ranked lower is because the QXR without performs way more consistently. The Enhanced Bolt perk decreases BSA and increases gun kick, making it harder to land accurate shots at range. The QXR without EB has 34 meters of 5 shot kill range and 14 meters of 4 shot kill, which is really good by the way. The PDW has 26 meters of 4 shot kill, low recoil, and a very fast ADS movement speed. The FFAR, aka the SMG on this guy, has 24 meters of 5 shot kill has little to no recoil in the first 7 shots and can compete with most SMGs up close thanks to its fire rate. The number 1 spot goes to none other than the HVK-30. The best 4-shot kill weapon in the game with 270 milliseconds of time to kill up to 28 meters, infinite 5-shot kill, Decent BSA and fire rate. Landing a headshot will take you one less shot to kill, lowering the time to kill by 90 milliseconds at all ranges regardless of which body part you hit. These might be the best guns right now, but do you even know how to get kills in COD Mobile? Here's how you can do just that by being unpredictable. 